What's going on guys, it's your friendly neighborhood giant tall Paul. Today I will be sharing with you a blade workout routine that you can do at your gym. It should only take you about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes to do. And you should do this about once a week so you can get your legs worked out once a week and start recovering those muscles to build them and so they become stronger. But most importantly, the number one thing you should be doing is warming up. Whether that's doing some hip rotators, doing some mountain climbers, doing some double legged mountain climbers, reaching for the stars, like I've seen, you guys have seen me do in my previous videos, or doing planks, whatever it is that can get your body warmed up for a good five to 10 minutes, will get you ready for your workout and ready to conquer it so you can reach new PRs and tackle new obstacles during your workout. The first leg exercise I want you guys to do is leg press. Make sure when you're doing this, you fully extend your legs to the top and come back down to 90 degrees, and you don't encave your knees too much because it will hurt your workout routine and you might get a knee injury further down the road. So make sure you don't encave your knees and you go straight up and back down to 90 degrees and do this four sets for 12 reps each and then you're done with your first exercise. The second exercise we're going to have you guys do lunges make sure you put 80 to 95 percent of your weight on your front legs go for three sets of 15 reps and make sure you keep your core tight and your lower back straight and you'll be all set and you'll be moving on to your next one For the third exercise, I'm gonna have you guys do seated leg curls. Make sure you get three sets for 15 reps. Keep your back to the back of the seat, especially if you're tall, so you get the full range of motion and lock your hands in place on the bars because that will make you stay still too. And just focus on driving your legs back down and then extend up and back down. And make sure you have good form and you'll be moving on to your fourth and final leg exercise. Then we got a special core exercise at the end for a real good burner. Fourth and final exercise, you're gonna do standing leg calf raises. You can go for three sets and 15 reps. Make sure you got the bar straight in your back. Keep your core tight, lower back straight, and go up, hold for two to three seconds, come back down with your calves, and do that again, and do that for 15 reps. And you would have completed your four leg exercises and you're on to your core burner. That's gonna to be tough. And for the fifth exercise for this whole workout, you're gonna do decline sit-ups. Now with the decline sit-ups, the trick is every set, you're gonna increase the difficulty by raising the bench height to allow gravity to work against you. And it's gonna make it even harder set by set. And then when you're doing these decline sit-ups, you wanna go for three sets and you wanna go for as many max reps as you can. Maybe the first week, you're only gonna be able to get 15 reps but again, you're raising the bench height and it's gonna make it harder and harder on you. And then when you get to the final set, it's gonna be really hard and you're gonna feel the burn the next day, trust me. Whether that's you get 15 reps or you get 45, it's gonna hurt because it's gonna adapt every week 
to your skill set and it's gonna still make it harder and harder on you. But with that being said, have a good week, guys. I hope this workout will help you and benefit you if you have access to a gym. I truly believe it will. Just give it a shot. Even if you want to try into your normal routine that you're doing, that's totally cool, too. And then come back to your other one. Whatever it is, just make sure you're working out, chasing your dreams. And always, always stay hungry, tall, tall. <laughs>